when we dedicate merit to those who have passed away, it serves several functions. One, it reminds us that even though good people have left the world, goodness is still here in the world. We can still do it. When Sariputta passed away, Ananda went to see the Buddha and said, when I heard that Sariputta had passed away, I just seemed to have lost my bearings. And the Buddha said, did he take virtue with him? Did he take concentration? Did he take discernment with him? No. Those things are still there. There's still things that we can do. So that gives us hope that there are good things that are still in the world, and we can do them ourselves. And secondly, it's, it's good to stop and think about all we owe to the people who passed away. If it weren't for their help, if it weren't for their instruction, if it weren't for their goodness, we wouldn't be where we are right now. Things would be a lot more miserable. It reminds us that goodness is something that you don't do just for yourself, but you also do a little extra to leave behind. This is why we like to think about people, good people who passed away, because of the good they've left behind. We want to hope that someday someone will think the same thing of us after we've gone. And then finally, of course, it does really help the person who's gone on. We can send the currents of our minds to their direction. And if it's a good current, it's helpful for them. So this is some goodness that's good all around. As the Buddha said, being heedful is an auspicious thing. In the standard Thai textbook, they say that funerals are merit-making really with relationship to funerals, or the, someone's passing away, these are inauspicious events. But that's not really the case. That's not a Buddhist attitude. That's more a Brahmanical attitude. The Buddhist attitude is anything that you can do to help heighten your heedfulness. That's all to the good. That is auspicious, because it then carries over into your thoughts and your words and your deeds, and that becomes something that's good and auspicious in the world. So we make merit by being generous, by observing the precepts, and especially by meditating. This is a gift we give to ourselves, or a gift to the people who passed on, and a gift we share all around. <laughs>